Hello guys, welcome back to Scar Guides, and today we are going to do the Ulek Fuse Atrocity High Budget Deck Tech Sense. We have reached our goal with 20 likes on the first video of a budget of, uh, I believe, up to 300 or 400, 1, 2. Um, but anyways, let's get right into this deck tech. The deck tech, um, you'll, you'll definitely see what's, uh, what's really expensive about it, but let's get into it. You guys already know the commander. Um, whenever you cast an Androgy spell, you may pay two waste. If you do copy all spells you control, then copy all other tr activated and trigger abilities you control, you may choose new targets uh, for the copies, which means you could activate this multiple times uh, for each Eldrazi you cast, and it's really busted. So, uh, but yeah, just two five. But you really care about the, the double copies and stuff like that. So, really disgusting ability. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the one planeswalker we have, which is Ugin, the Spirit Dragon. Seem pretty good in here, and a, co a cost, um, which is really important for one card that we have in here um, to trigger with. Um, but yeah, just just Nightboar Wipe, having um, just Nightboar Wipe there, and then um, dealing three, which is pretty good. Re really relevant, depending on what commanders are out. Gets for Adranus, Magistry, uh, Opposition Agent, uh, Grand Abolisher, and all that fun stuff. But yeah, uh, he seemed pretty good in here. Let's move on to the 32 creatures. So we have Argent and Conflict, Conduit of Ruin, uh, Deep Phantom Scholar, a Delightful Halfling, Dockside Sorceress, Drown Our Hope, Eldrazi Displacer, Eldrazi Linebreaker, and then Emerald the Deposit End. Um, so basically, same stuff from the last video, but we added a uh, little bit of protection with Delightful Halfling, and then some mana production with Dockside Sorceress, just to get, get more mana out there, just cast our big boards like Emrakul, the promise end, um, which is a really strong Eldrazi, and we get to copy it and get to gain control or mind slaver two of our opponents uh, if we do, which is really nice. Um, and then, yeah, let's move on to the next page here. Uh, we've got Emrakul, the world anew, Endbringer, uh, Esper Sentinel, uh, Glaring uh, Flesh Shaker, uh, Herald of Codlect, uh, Hideous Taskmaster, it, that heralds the end, Codlect, but her truth, Codlect of the Great Distortion. So, our finish, our main finisher, it basically Emrakul the World Anew, basically. You just gain control of all creatures, and then you just swing out and kill everyone. It's really disgusting. And then we have Endbringer, uh, for Sentinel, for some draw there. Uh, I don't think Glaring Flesh uh, Raker was in the first one. I believe he was, uh, but just nice mana. You go whenever you cast a color spell, create a zero one one color spawn token, and it's a sack, add one waste, uh, which is really nice. And Cosmic Butcher of Truth draws those cards, and it's just a big old 12 12. And then Cosmic the Great Distortion, which is an original list as well, um, just help us um, counter some spell that we do not like. Um, and yeah, let's move on to the next bit here. Uh, we got Twin of Discord, uh, Null Drifter, Oblivion Sower, uh, Roaming Throne, uh, Sire Sing. Six, stagnation, my bad. Uh, skittering Cicada. Uh, selling Mystical Bond. Spawn. There we go. Uh, spawn Bad Protector. And Thief Existence. The only new one here, I believe, is Roaming Throne. Uh, Roaming Throne just really disgusting since we are going to get trigger, trigger, trigger abilities with Uliak. And um, yeah, just, just disgusting ability right there. But yeah, let's move on to the last bit here, which is Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger, Ulamog, the Defiler, Ulamog, the Infinite Gyre, and then uh, Wastescape, Battle Mage, and then uh, Zuladak, the Void Gorger. So, uh, like I said, some of the cards, um, like o Ugin, the Spirit Dragon, triggers whenever you cast a, uh, or color spells you cast from your hand uh, with mana value 7 or greater, have Cascade, Cascade, which is really disgusting. And then we're also playing um, pr probably the best Eldrazi's here, which is Ulamogs. Just all three of them. I think they're all playable. Um, one gets rid of targets, one gets rid of one, and the other one does really disgusting stuff. Um, just when, when you cast a spell target opponent, you get to like, copy that, have two opponents do it. Like You get to copy the ability, which I think is just really insane. Um, but yeah. Let's move on to 13 artifacts here. So we are focusing on the artifact ramp more uh, then the sorcery ramp that we had in our previous video. So we have Arcane Signet, Basalt Monolith, Felware Stone, Forsaken Monument, Grim Monolith, Lightning Grid, Mana Crypt, Mana Vault, and Mystic War. So we do have a combo here with Basalt Monolith and Forsaken Monument, um, which just creates infinite colorless mana and basically you just win. Or uh, Gr Grim Monolith too as well, um, but either or it works. Um, but yeah, Forsaken Monument, we got like 
needs a bunch of mana here, like Mana Crypt, Mana Vault, just getting stuff out there. And then Mystic Forge just to help us loot through our deck faster, uh, which is really nice. And then some protection with Lightning Groove to make sure our commander lives. Um, there's a little, quite a bit of protection in this list now, um, just to make sure our commander lives so we get the trigger abilities. And last but not least, we got Ring to Bright Heart, another combo piece. Uh, Soul, uh, Soul Ring, the One Ring, and Threaded Dynamo. We just want to make sure that uh, we have a way to win and not stall out the game as much, making infinite mana or just casting Emrakul anew or even taking uh, people's turns, which is a nice finisher there, but we also just wanted to make infinite mana. So, um, just the One Ring just really powerful, protects us, and just draws us cards. Soul Ring and Threaded Dynamo there for mana, but yeah. I think I like how the artifacts are. You could definitely add Mox uh, Opal, uh, Mox Diamond, and all that fun stuff, but it kind of hard cuts. Uh, if we're going down that route, you might as well just throw in just a bunch of DH pieces. But yeah, let's move a look at the uh, nine instants. So we're playing Deflecting Block, Hero, Get Invention, Cosmic Command, Null Elemental Blast, Return to the Wild Speaker, Sword of Plaster, Teferi Protection, Ugin Divining, and Vampire Tutor. So all the cards are pretty good. So we added Deflecting Swat, um, just more protection. Hero Convention, I'm pretty sure that was in the last list. Uh, Cosmic Command, uh, pretty good chunk of these, except for Teferi Protection, Ugin Binding, and Vampiric Tutor. Both very important cards. One uh, protects our board just like the One Ring, just makes sure we are alive uh, for the next turn to, so we can live. Uh, then we've got Ugin Binding, which is another sweet card, which is a return target non land permanent you don't control to its owner's hand, and then whenever you cast a color spell, then a value 7 or Seven or greater, you may exile Ugin's Binding from your graveyard. When you do, return each non land permit you don't control to its owner's hand, which is really nice. Uh, basically, early game removal and then late game side colony griff for free, which is really disgusting since we are since our deck is just huge Eldrazi's. And then we have Vampire Tutor, which could grab anything in our deck that we need during that moment, uh, which I really like. I love having tutors in five color deck that can help us find those pieces that we need to win, finish out the game or win. Um, and also, we are playing three sorceries, which is all the dust, demonic tutor, risk card expertise. Um, the only new one in here, demonic tutor. Uh, you could kind of take out risk card expertise. I kind of like it, but uh, it could definitely be a cut card. Uh, but demonic tutor, same thing. You definitely want something. Well, actually, better than vampire tutor because you could get that turn. Uh, vampire tutor puts it on top, but if you have a way to draw it, then there you go. But demonic tutor puts it into your hand, so you grab anything you want and hopefully win the game. All right, let's move on to the last bit here. We are playing six enchantments. The six enchantments, I had a tough time trying to pick. Um, so we right now, Echoes of Eternity, uh, Cosmic of Sealing, Rhystic Study, Smelling Type, Team of Ascendancy, and Up to Beam Talk. So here's the new one. We got Rhystic Study for more draw. Um, getting this out early with all of our fast mana is really good for us. Just keep on drawing, drawing into land, resources, big threats, and I love having that that stuff there and then smothering types just get more mana since we're going to play this on turn two you're definitely going to get that mana back and then team of uh this one a new one but i have put in here i took out a uh, gurk's uprising and put in uh team of Sendity just because it gives haste and then whenever a creature power four greater enter battlefield draw a card so basically anything but it gives haste which is really important for all drowsy decks we definitely want uh our creature to get haste and then up to being shocked which i think it is really good in all decks if you could have that green color uh, because it ETBs on on it, it ETBs on draw, and then uh, whenever you cast five or greater uh, mana value, you draw a card. So it's really good for two mana. A um, lot of lot of lot of draw in here. A lot of resources uh, with all these upgrades that I've made. Um, but yeah, let's look at the lands here. The lands I definitely changed up a lot um, with the budget version. So we're playing Ancient Tomb, uh, Blood Crypt, Bloodstained Mire, uh, Bonded Enclave, Cavern Soul, City of Brass, Command Tower, Corrupt. Did crossroads and then Eldrazi Temple, so we added Ancient Tomb, really good fast mana. And then I, uh, you could honestly put dual lands in here. I did put just sock lands, it's just easier. Um, with the dual lands, it would be definitely another two grand. <laughs> um, but right now, um, I like in here. Then you got some fetches, you got Plunder Enclave, which helps you draw cards. Uh, City Brass to filter your mana, counter soul to make sure your Eldrazi spells don't get countered like your commander, and add it one of any mana color. And then Corrupted Crossroad, which helps devoid spells since our whole deck is probably devoid or colorless, one and two. Um, and then Eldrazi Temple, which basically just an Institute buff for Eldrazi. So let's move on to the next part here. 
And we are playing Daga, Orchard, Io, Ugin, Fledged Strain, Goblet Strain, Hollow Fountain, Overgrown Tomb, Planar Nexus, Reflecting Pool, and Reliquary Tower. So, Exalted Orchard. Hopes of fix our mana, Iogen. I mean, what, what can I say? Iogen's pretty busted in this type of list. And then we're playing Flooded Strand, uh, Goblet Shrine. It just, is it, yeah, I, I already said it. Like, saves Jesus English. So the same thing as last time. They're just, they're, you can always replace it with Dual Lands. Uh, but Player Nexus, which is really disgusting since we are playing some Urge of Lands. Uh, we get to produce a lot more. Uh, but that, and then it adds one, one mana if we tap one, but we only care about the, the, the every uh, basic line, non-basic land type. And then we're playing Reflecting Pool for mana, and then Reliquary Tower just make sure we don't discard any of our cards. I know I'm going to get people in the comment section talking about Reliquary Tower bad, but like in this type of deck, play it. I, I feel like you could play Reliquary Tower with this type of deck. In Eldrazi deck, you can. I feel like it's fine. I don't think you're, you'll your win where you will like go down but other people will think that but let's move on all right we got sanctum Ugin, scalding tarn scavenging grounds uh secluded courtyard uh shrine of forsaken gods steam vents tomb of the spirit dragon Ugin's labyrinth and an unclaimed territory um just um we got scalding tarn in there for more fetches steam vents and then i add tomb to spirit dragon because it gains you life and then Ugin spirit spirit labyrinth which is really good because we can put away one of our, uh, let's just say, Coglex under it and then get back uh, when we can cast it uh, that turn, which is really good. Um, and then Unclaimed Territory and Secluded Courtyard just helps us fix our mana for the Devoid spells that we have. Um, and yeah, uh, you can also take those out for just um, those other lands that are better, but I, I kind of like those lands. I don't think they're terrible. I think they're, they're, they're all right in this type of list. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about Urza Cave, Urza Mine, Urza Power Plant, Urza Saga, Urza Tower, Verticalco, Vitsuva, and Winds of Heath. All really good cards. Uh, Urza's Cave can look for any of the Urza lands that we need. And then Urza Saga gets out Mana Crypt, um, Mana Vault, Soul Ring, any of those. Uh, and it could create constructs for us if we are running slow. And then Verticalcombs and Winds of Heath just fetches. And then Vitsuva can copy any of our other land. It could copy a eight and two my urges tower um it could really copy any of them that we truly do need and just really ramp out fast um but yeah that is my take on the high budget uliak uh fuse atrocity deck tech um but yeah thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe and the deck tech value is right around uh two thousand one hundred dollars which is really good um for a budget there um, for a high budget. Um, this deck is probably in like the 8 range um, depending on uh, how many counters you want to, uh, uh, counters, combos you want to add uh, to the deck and how fast you want to win. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that is it. Um, next week we're going to do a new deck tech on a new commander um, from Honor I did 3. Don't know which one I'm going to pick yet. I'm leaning toward Rakdos guy or uh, the, the Abzan guy, but we'll see. Um, I'll definitely um, make an update which one I'll make. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Definitely let me know how you guys like this list. Uh, definitely let me know what you guys want to take out uh, for certain, certain cards. But yeah, I am going to get out of here. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.